Hey, how's it going everyone? So uh, I got the new alternator here. The old one's laying over there on the ground. There, right here. You can see it's pretty nasty and shot. We're gonna put this new one back in right quick. It only took about 26 minutes to take the old one out. So we're just gonna put the new one in. I showed how to take the old one out. Hopefully you guys can see it in that video. And then we're just gonna do the exact opposite and reverse it uh, to put it back in. So here we go. When I get it down here in this hole, I'll bring you guys back over so you guys can see what I'm doing. I gotta first get it in this hole. There we go. Like that. Now what we'll do is uh see you'll see that the spot for the bolt itself that goes in let me turn this like this and i'll show you guys down in here and you can see how that bolt spot is shaped for the bolt to sit inside for the alternator so it goes sorry it goes in the, through the alternator and then sits on top of that ledge and then just tightens down through the alternator itself is how that is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down here and i'm going to get the bottom bolt and i'm going to put it back in the alternator so that way i could just set it on that lip and then worry about tightening it up later. First, we gotta get the alternator. Let me set this one down. First, I gotta get the alternator into position. And, well, that's gonna be a problem. Let me take this back out. We gotta move the uh, piece on it so we can get it to fit into its position. And I forgot about that. What we have to do is we have to move this little piece down just a little bit. And how we're gonna do that is we're just gonna set it down here like this. Stick a screwdriver here. We're just gonna stick a screwdriver through the hole like this and place it right on the edge of that ring and we're just gonna lightly tap on it and that'll tap it down into place where it's supposed to be at. And now we'll be able to slide it right into its groove. Just sometimes they don't get pushed all the way in from the factory when they're being put in, is all. We just, like I said, we just lightly tap that insert right there back down into the alternator so now we can set it on there without having any issues. Hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna have to tap it into place. Very lightly tap it. Kind of like I did when I brought it out. Okay, looks good. All right, now, let's see if I can put the bottom bolt in it right quick. Oh, that's the top bolt. I'll slide underneath real quick. 
take you guys with me. All right. There we go. The alternator is directly up above the uh, AC pump. Looks like we're close to the hole. Not quite there. Ow. Pinch my finger. That's okay, though. That will happen from time to time. Uh oh. Okay, let me slide this in. Oop. The belt out of the way. Slide that in like so. All the way across. Just like that. All right, now I'm going to go up the top and put it into the groove. I don't know if you guys can see the that bolt sticking out right here. Probably not. Right, I'm trying to get you get it to where you guys can see stuff. This alternator is not really in a very good spot. It's just not. Just not in a good spot at all. Okay. Let's see if I, we can go back up here like so. Like I said, I don't know what you guys can see and what you can't. Doing my best. Let's see, where's my hand? There's my hand. Jeez, that hurt my finger. I really pinched that sucker good. Okay. Right, we're still not in all the way, but we're close. Okay, that's close. That's got us super close to where we need to be. Let's see if we can put the uh, bolt in right quick. This top one. No, nope, we're not quite in the hole there yet. Not quite there just yet, are we? Oh, you don't want to tap on it too hard because you don't want to break anything. Looks so close. Just gotta get it to go into place like that. Now get the bolt to go in. Ah, shucks. Move you guys over here a little bit more, like that for right at the moment just for a second I can only do so much I gotta get this alternator to go in all the way okay there we go that looked good better than it was anyways Come on.
still looks too high. Feels too high also. Oh, I hit my hand on that sensor right there. Keep hitting my hand on that sensor. Come on. It'd take me longer to put it back in than it would take it out. Or that it did to take it out. I can't get this thing to go all the way into place. just off by just a touch. Come on. The problem is I don't know which way it needs to go, up or down. It needs to go down further. not getting it into place. I'll get it there though. We'll get it. Somehow. Come on. Just doesn't want to go into place is all. Jeez, it's like right there. I just can't get the bolt to go through. <laughs> lined up perfectly too but I can't get it to go in like what's going on here come on just a little I don't know what's going on here got everything lined up yeah maybe I just I guess not I guess everything's not lined up. I don't know what's uh, going on here, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. First off, it might help if I get you guys out of my way so I can get this back in. I'm sorry. You guys are just uh, kind of in my way right at the minute. I apologize. I'm already at 14 minutes and I need to get this done.
far down as it goes. Oh, I think I got it. you guys back up here without any problems like I said I just needed to get that top bolt into position the right spot and the way where I had the camera sitting at I couldn't unfortunately I couldn't do that now we're just gonna put this in here and we're gonna tighten up the top one All right, there we go. And yes, we're gonna tighten that up with the torque, with the brake bar. Because we want it to be nice and tight. Come on, you. There we are. back here let's put the washer or oh that is engine coolant down that side tighten that up just like that there we go that's plenty tightened now we'll go down we'll tighten up the bottom one which is at 15 millimeter and then we'll just put the belt back on oh well while i'm up here why not do that while i'm up here i'll put all the uh uh connectors on so we'll put Here's the AC one. Put that on right quick, just like that. Push that over. We have this one here, the little red one here for the alternator. Now it's kind of hard to get back on, but just got to slide it into its hole, just like that. There we go. Get that out from behind it. Now, I did drop the bolt. Let me grab that right quick. Or the nut. So I've got the nut right here. I'll turn that just like that so that way you guys can see kind of what I'm doing. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing or not because I can't tell. I can't see. The front of the camera or anything really I can't even see to put this nut on here just gotta feel for it All right. slide this on Where's the plastic? Is there no plastic clip on that? Nope. No rubber clip on that one down there. Now we gotta push this back into place. I gotta go down and get the little rubber, uh, the little red piece that goes to that clip and then put it back in because it fell out of the center. You know what? I am gonna do something. Ugh. I'm gonna take that nut back off of there that I just put on, and I'm gonna put a wash, a locking nut, on, a locking wash nut on it. Here in a second. Let's put this little red tab back in. Oop, wrong spot. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. It's on there so tight I can't get it off anyways. So, okay. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. Putting that back on there. All right. Uh, 
I am gonna, like I said, I am going to uh, put the, uh, I'm gonna go back down here and I am going to put get that nut right there okay well at least I dropped it all the way to the bottom I gotta find this okay I got one of these washers I'm gonna put that on there so it's a lock washer I'm gonna put that on there then put I'm gonna put the nut back on and that should keep it from backing out There we go. Oop. Come on, get on there. There we are. And that's all tightened up and ready to go. Now we just gotta tighten up the bottom bolt here. slide back under here we're already at 22 minutes so it's going to take a little bit longer than it did to put it on that's okay though uh. okay I only use the electric ratchet to run it in. Oh, it's not slip off there. Okay, there we go. Now, got our pulley. Put that back on, just like so. It's not a bad alternator to change on these journeys. It's time consuming when you have to take all the plastic and stuff off. That's what the uh, issue with it is, mostly. For me, anyways. I'll show you how this belt on this journey goes here in just a minute. I've done these belts so much, I, I could probably do them in my sleep. I'll go up there and put the top one on first, or the top portion of it on first. And let's see if we can get this other one in here. Easy. I'll tighten that up right quick. There we go. Now we'll put the belt on. This is where it gets a little tricky with this belt. Now this goes around here like this, like this. This goes around. And get that to go like that. Now we gotta run this all the way up to the top. Way up there.
Give me a second. belt up here, flip it back around where it like it's supposed to be. Get my hands in here. Not an easy spot to get your hands into. I'll tell you that. Now we're gonna go up like this. Okay, just like that. So now I got the top half of it on. And we go back like this. We're gonna go on the alternator, go around this pulley like this, like this. Pretty sure this is how these go. Uh oh. What did I do wrong? They come off the top. Ah. Uh, Did I route it wrong? No, I don't think so. Okay, just like so, like so. Yeah, let me make sure we're on all up at the top. <sighs> See what did I do here that changed it? Because we're on, it looks like we're on everywhere. And go down and around. Okay, I have to fiddle with it a little bit. Figure out what I did here. Because it looks right, but eh, it's too loose. So, I think, I think, I want to say this comes straight down like this. Like that. Goes back up. Oh, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. So it has to come down onto, this, onto the alternator pulley. Down and around. You should come back around like this. All right, I'm gonna have to look up the diagram again, I guess. I don't know what I've done wrong here, but I did something wrong on this. And now I gotta get the belt back out the right way. Let's see here. It looks right though. As far as I I feel like I'm missing a, like I missed a pulley or something here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I feel that way. Um, let's see here. I got it here. Oh, oh no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just gotta go. Slipping off of every, everything else here. Now, let's see here. We come back around like this. Yep, that's right. Up here like this. 
Yeah, and that's right. Now, it must be something up there at the top that I missed. Let me go up there and look. Something's not right here. Alright, yeah. Alright, well I'm going to have to look up a belt diagram for this. Uh, I don't know what, why I can't seem to figure out how to get it on. I've done this many times on these Dodge Journeys, which is completely crazy. Uh, I just don't see what's going Oh, maybe that's what's going on. I mean, hold on a second. Like that. Let me pull this down here. Let's go like that. Get that on there, like so. Go up around like that. No, it's the same thing. I mean, we're this much too too long. It should not be like that. Jeez. Figure out what I did here on this belt. Figure out why I can't get back on there. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can.